looking to batch upload your social scheduling in HubSpot, well, the bulk upload inside the social scheduling area will help you do just that. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. For some companies that do a lot of social media and they're uploading a lot of posts, sometimes scheduling one by one can be tedious. So if you use a spreadsheet and you're writing all your posts at once and want to upload them to HubSpot to schedule them in bulk, you can do that. Let's dive in and take a look to see how. So here inside of HubSpot, we've got marketing. And again, we're going to the marketing tab here on social. And what we're looking at is scheduling here in bulk. So when you pull up schedule in bulk, you can schedule up to 300 messages at once. And the way to do this is actually download your CSV import template. So even if you use a different tool to write them out, I would highly, highly suggest starting here, downloading this, we take it to the desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and click, um, we're just gonna call this social example and then we're gonna go to the desktop. All right, so let's go ahead and open that. So you'll see that the template actually pulls out of the system and names the types of social platforms that are already integrated inside of my HubSpot portal. So if you haven't yet linked your social networks to HubSpot, you wanna go back and do that or watch our previous video about how to schedule in social, uh, schedule social in HubSpot. But here you'll notice that we've got five different accounts that are actually all linked to HubSpot already. So we've got a date um, file or a date column here. We've got a message, which would be like the text that you want to go above that link. You've got a link and then a photo URL. So if you want to have the post have a specific graphic, it needs to be a public URL that you can pull off the web, put it in this column. And then the campaign would be, if you want this post to be linked to a certain campaign inside of HubSpot, you'd need to specify that right here. So just to make this really simple, I'm gonna paste some information in here so you can see how it gets uploaded and then eventually have this previews inside of HubSpot. So I'm actually gonna head over to this post over here and we're gonna take the URL and we're gonna write a little bit about this blog post. So this is a recap of the inbound conference from HubSpot 2022. I'm gonna head back to my spreadsheet and I'm gonna pretend that I'm writing content here. So we're gonna go message like, did you miss inbound? Get our full recap um, of the event and trends you don't want to miss. Perfect. Okay, so that's gonna be my message. And then for the link, I'm gonna go ahead and post that link that we just talked about. Now, if I don't include a photo URL, it's just going to include a preview from that link. So that's gonna be whatever featured image happened to pop up on the page. If I want a specific image, I'm gonna go back to that post. And actually, if you just hover over an image here, so let's pretend that this is the image that I want. We're gonna hover over it, right click, and then I'm gonna click on copy, copy image address. We're gonna head over to that spreadsheet, put it in here as photo URL, and there we go. I'm not gonna link a specific campaign in this example, but let's pretend that we're gonna put this across a couple of profiles. So I'm gonna go Facebook, we're gonna go LinkedIn, and then we're gonna to go to my Twitter here. So we're gonna delete these because it doesn't make sense for us to post it to these right now. So we'll delete that and then we're gonna delete all the extra times here. So key thing to keep in mind as we're doing this is the date column needs to be two, two, and two in terms of like the dates, um, like 10, 06, 02, and then the time needs to be military time. If you happen to be watching this and hearing a saxophone in the background, it's because my son is playing the saxophone, so sorry about that. Anyway, so we're gonna save this as our social uploads. We'll call this social upload and make sure it's saved as a CSV and we're gonna click on save. Now let's go back to our inbound um, recap and then back to our social. And I'm gonna click on choosing a file to upload. We're gonna go social, upload, and open. And again, remember they're reminding of these things here. When I click upload, it'll actually pull those three posts upload here. Over on the left-hand side of our social scheduling area, it'll say uploaded as opposed to drafts. So when you upload, it goes into an area. And then once you review that, you can move them into drafts. And then from drafts, you can move them into scheduling. So if I wanna click and see what that actually looks like, I can click into this. And then just like we showed in our social scheduling video, you can see what's here. You could choose to edit that draft if you needed to. You could schedule for later, add hashtags, whatever you might wanna do. If I decided that I don't want this image here, I could actually go and delete this. And then again, as you can see, it's just gonna pull the preview image and publish that way. So that's about as simple as, as it is. If I click on save draft, you'll notice that now on the uploaded tab, I've only got two because the thing I just uploaded went over here into the drafts area, which again, I can pull this down and I can say approve draft and it will schedule on the time that is initially set. So that's it, that's how to bulk schedule. If you happen to be writing a lot of tweets, for example, out of the content that you're writing in blog posts and you put it in that spreadsheet and write it just like that, it makes uploading 
and scheduling hundreds of posts at a time a breeze. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button. Let me know if there's a topic you want us to cover in future videos, and we'll see you next week.